is play-by-play -play with industry professionals, tackling topics and offering tips to help improve your game plan. Now, here's your play-by-play. -play. All right, Whoa. what's up? Back at it again. Got the team with me. Oh, man, what's going on, Dustin? Oh, just another day, another day. So, I noticed y'all guys noticed it, you, the set probably looks a little different. A little bit different. We've been here before at SDC. This was our backdrop, but we decided to change the set. We moved it because it made it so much easier for production and my details. We came out of the shop into one of our offices that are upstairs that overlook the detail shop. But we wanted to make it look familiar. Absolutely. And just so y'all know, Alabama has about a thousand degree heat in the summer. So it does. We're just happy to be uh, out, of, out of that and in the In AC. the air, man. We like to die last week. It was brutal. <laughs> and the rain got really loud. So we noticed we had some sound issues that we're working through. So we're just trying to bring you the best show that we can possibly do. Um, Jessica and Chris, you guys have seen them on my lives. If you follow them, they work their butts off day in, day out to make sure that we're bringing the best quality. They're still trying to work on Ryan, but there's only so much work they can be done you know right i mean a new set is much easier than trying to train ryan to be just better. like the podcast i'm an evolution in progress sir so y'all can look forward to seeing this here from week to week now last week we started talking uh, that we were going to be talking about products and you know we are super excited to be kicking that off i mean here we are knee deep in products and what better way to start it with than with um some company that we're real familiar with we use them every day uh, here in our shop, System X, Mr. Todd Rudovich. That's right, man. Todd's going to be on our show. And don't forget, guys, you can also catch us on uh, YouTube. We're, we're streaming live on YouTube. We're right? live on YouTube, live on Facebook. Now, That's right. if they miss us live, you can always catch us on Spotify. So I know that they uh, take the sound out and they push that up. So if you don't catch it live, go over to uh, Spotify and give us a listen. We're a lot uh, easier on the ears than we are on the eyes, right? Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so you want to bring Todd on? Yeah, so, you know, listen, we've used our products for years. Like I said, um, I can't wait to get him out here and talk about all the ins and outs of what System X has to offer, how to get it, what to do with it once you got it, you know, that kind of stuff. Let's uh, let's bring Todd on and see what he's got to say. What's up, Todd? Oh, man, just another day. You know Ryan, don't you? Pleasure meeting you down at SDC. Sure. Yeah, how's, how's, how are things going over y'all's way? So lots of new and exciting things here. We actually moved into a new uh, headquarters. We're calling it headquarters now, not just an office. You know, nice. We're, we're moving on up in the world. So uh, as you can see here, don't tell anybody, but this is perched on two file cabinets right now. We're not <laughs> even um, but, you know, that being said, we're really excited um, we've got 63 seats. We're expanding reps as, you wow. know, the demand worldwide is just growing continuously for our product. Uh, you guys love it, and we're excited to, you know, obviously talk about it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, new office, you know, still same system X. We do have some new cool products coming sure. out. But, um, you know, progression and, and expanding the brand and really, you know, trying to get more of the market share is important for us. Well, and you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell there's been marketing shift. Uh, you guys, I can, you, you can see there's been some investments made there uh, as we follow y'all social medias and stuff. Um, all the you know the new ads and stuff coming out they look great yeah. um, so we have a lot of uh, we, it following us we have a lot of um, older details that have been in it a while but we also have some new guys um, that that follow us and so you know if I were a, a detailer looking to make a switch to product we know how much I love system X we use it on everything that we do um, if I'm a new guy trying to make a choice between some of the other brands and system X what would what would cause me to make that shift or come over your way, uh, Todd? What would you say like would make y'all stand out uh, from the rest? Yeah. So um, one thing I want to really uh, give uh, a big kudos to is my team is customer support and customer service. Absolutely. I think that's where we stand out a little different. You're not going online to order. Unfortunately, you got to talk to one of us. You yeah. got to, right? Yep. We want to we want to build that relationship. We want to understand what you guys got going on in your world, right? That's most important. Um, we want to really get a, a, a understanding of what your detail your detail business is. Every detail right. business is different. You might it do is. boats, you might do cars, you might do motorcycles, you might be in the middle of a cornfield and do nothing but agriculture. So, yeah. you know, we really want to get a better understanding. And then, and then, we're a little different, right? We're not going to tell you. We're not going to set prices. We're going to do this, but we'll guide you. We'll say, hey, this is what the markets, you know, you know, expecting sure. you guys to get paid. Um, another really big thing I think that's very important is. Uh, Return on investment is always important. Most mm -hmm. coatings are relatively around the same price point. Um, we have a few added benefits that we like to give you guys. Carfax is one. Yeah. Um, we actually yeah. do itemized Carfax reporting. So if you do a glass and an exterior, it's going to show up on two separate lines in that Carfax. 
Conference. Yeah, and, and that's um, obviously pretty sure. new, right, Todd? They didn't have uh, – they, they weren't offering that for um, forever. This has been something new that now we can have an itemized Carfax report. Yes. And, yeah, that's something brand new to the marketplace. I think we were one of the first to do it. Don't quote me on that. You know, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of great companies that are doing innovative things. But um, we uh, – so if you do the glass, the exterior, and the interior, it's going to throw up a, show up as three separate, three separate line items on that Carfax report. You know, added selling benefit. Yeah. But I really think, you know, all those things aside, I think it's the ROT, return on your time, right? Okay. Because some guys only have a one base shop. Some yeah. guys have a 30 base shop, right? But, you know, we're going to be able to get that car in and out the door after that paint correction's done. And I think you could attest to this faster than most coding companies. And that's because of our cure times. Absolutely. Absolutely. And single, single layer, you know, um, is a big time help. You're not, you're not requiring two layers um to to get the coverage that you need and so install time is cut down dramatically um you know and and but listen i can attest to the customer service you guys have always been just first class with us and you know th that's probably what's kept us on with you guys i mean the product's always been great um you know but there's a lot of great products out there but the customer service to be able to pick up the phone and get in touch with you guys shoot over a text I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful, and I know that that's that really means a lot to us and um, you know in our business. Um, so now it, there there's yeah. something on the screen I wanted to touch uh, base with. Not only is Carfax you know fairly new, but you guys have a new product. I actually uh, checked it out down at SDC. It's the uh, the Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so he, sir. He brought that. He showed that to us. Go ahead. So this is actually pretty cool. This is, uh, you know, obviously our branding, our box with Max, right? Yeah, that looks good. So I don't know if you guys know, and I probably may be telling you a little more than you should, but we do a lot of work with the Department of Defense as well. So we, we started 10 years ago as a research and development company. Mm -hmm. um, that's really, you know, how we got into the ceramic game. Um, Andrew Zappa, the creator and owner, had a thought. He said, well, you know, I, I'm a pretty smart guy, but I want to be around cars. How can I make those yeah. two things align? He said, wow, ceramic coating 10 years ago was new. It was like new like the internet, and we're just continually expanding. Uh, Max actually came out of our research and development efforts. It's two times stronger um, than everything on the marketplace right now, four times thicker, and two times more durable. So we created this coating because, you know, Diamond SS, smooth, silky, beautiful finish, right? Those are yep. for the guys that are going to maintain their vehicles. And, you know, it's a low-maintenance uh, coating as well, too. But this right. is for your guy that's, you know, maybe not going to maintain their vehicle as, as well. That's it's right. going to be a little better with water spotting. Um, and we're actually doing some new things. We're actually warranting RVs, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, we're that, actually, let me see, I got a sheet here because I don't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. It's actually 0.9 mils, a uh, little right. more durable than extreme. Uh, slowest flashing product. I was actually talking to a customer this morning. Uh, his name is, uh, oh, David. And uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, he's located. And he was uh -huh. talking about, man, I loved it. It was so much easier to work with than Diamond because not that Diamond's hard, but yeah. you get a little more wriggle room with Max. Um, warranty can still be offered on automotive and marine now. So we're doing a lifetime on automotive, but we're also uh, warranting marine. And we're doing yeah. something outside of the box that I don't think any other coding company is doing with the Max is we're warranting RVs, yep. we warranty fleet vehicles, We'll warranty, you know, a fire truck, uh, a police vehicle, municipality vehicles. So we're really letting you guys go out to the marketplaces that you might have been coding, but now you say, hey, not only can I code it, I can give you a warranty with it now too. Yeah, and see, that's really great for us. I know that we do a lot of um, a lot of the you know tractors on eighteen wheelers, um, and we've never been able to offer that uh, that warranty to them. So Max allows us the ability. One thing that we're running tests on right now is in the marine environment is how well does that Max hold up? Because you know we do a ton of marine detailing down here. We love our Extreme SS, but you know um, you know below water or on the whole sides, we'd love to see if there if there are some advantages that that Max may offer compared to Extreme. But um, I, you know we were super excited to to get the uh, samples in and, and, and see how we can uh, add that to our, our, our lineup and, and see what all we can do. We do tons of side-by-sides here. We do tons of tractors I was supposed and to stuff. Say, so, yeah. Big tractors, too. A lot of our customers. Uh, so, you know, I don't want to stop you guys, tractors. but the tractors, we're still trying to work, work out the agricultural section on sure. the warranty because yeah. those guys are a different animal. Side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, jet yeah. skis, all that stuff, we got it knocked out the park. But that's just warranty wise. Do I think it'll work great on a tractor? Yeah, I just bought a club cadet the other day. I got two and a half acres, and nice. my wife said go out and mow. And I had a little push mark. I said, 
Sweetie, I, no, I'll be back next it. week if I got to do this, right? Yeah. So I actually coded the tractor, the Club Cadet, and I did the inside of the tractor, right? Because oh, you yeah. know those blades are, as soon as those get uneven, your, yep. your tractor's all done. That's so right. it's a, a great added benefit for that. So there's a lot of marketplaces that I think some detailers and the stars don't even think about, and that's great that you brought that up. That's right. So let me ask you this: um, These are absolutely professional products. You're not going to go to you know buy them over the counter. Um, you you y'all protect the detailers like that, and I think that's absolutely awesome. Um, if I, if I'm a new detailer and I want to buy some System X, what's the process? Where who, where do I go? Who do I talk to? So um, honestly, you can always call our number, our main one okay. eight hundred number that's on the website. Um, a lot of guys end, end up generally going through the process on the computer, filling out. I want to become an installer, uh -huh. and I'll give you a little rundown on how that happens. Okay. The installer information comes in; it gets separate. Uh, actually, goes to Andrew Feeney, our director of sales. Then he delegates it. So we got a bunch of sales reps here: it's guys, girls, you know, different personalities. Yep. And he tries to mesh based upon the information to give you, maybe the demographic, and he's going to shoot that lead out with a strategic thought in mind. He's right, not just right. sending it out to the floor. Call this guy and sell him. He's no. We're nice. we're sending it out. We're we're having a conversation with you. Yes, our main goal is to sell more product, but we would prefer to understand you and your business and how you guys run it. You know, not just you specifically, so we can get a better understanding. And maybe you say, "Hey, this is the coding I need." But then we, after the conversation, I'm like, "You know what? Maybe this might be a better." Not that I'm going to sway you because you know one way or another, but we're just going to have that conversation. Sure. And, you know, I tell you, that's, you know, speaking to y'all's customer service, you've always uh, done that for us. We, you know, we, we deal with Andrew directly. Um, but everybody that we've sent your way and all, I mean, they, you pair them up well. And I think that it's absolutely awesome that you guys take the time to do that. I mean, it's so important to all the detailers to get the right sales. And so, you know, I think it's just, uh, it's just another, uh, you know, one of the benefits of going with System X. And I think that's really cool that you guys take, uh, make the efforts to it. So now, Todd, I know you come into contact with a bunch of detailers every day, right? And so I just wanted to know, this is a little question we ask everyone that comes on the podcast. Um, so, of course, we're a software company. What, what uh, impact do you see software having on the detail industry? So that's great. And um, as you know, we've obviously had conversations about this in the past. And I think, I think right, you sometimes have a great business guy. And, and a detailer, or you have a great detailer and, and not so good on the business side, right? Absolutely. And I think what technology is doing these days is kind of just meshing it, right? That. No yeah, matter yeah, what yeah. level you are, detailer-wise or you know business-wise, the technology is going to make it a little easier to track, right? Sure. Why is Facebook the most valuable company in the world? Data, right? Yeah, that's right. Why can you make your company more valuable? data yeah, right yeah. and it's depending on what your customers are buying right if you have your customers and you see gyms come come back to you for the three full years consistently and you and you can look at that and say wait why didn't i ever pitch him glass why didn't i ever pitch him an interior so that's another really good thing i think it's important that you're going to be data grabbing because it's important to have that information because sure right roi on a customer or, or, or roi on a lead right your lead acquisition depending on everybody is different but if yep. I have a lead and I sold them one product, imagine how much my lead acquisition cost goes down right, if I sell them A, B, C, and D products, right? That's right? And that's important. I think some detailers don't see that. They get a guy in the door like, oh, I got this, this, they're all excited because they closed the deal. And then next year when the guy comes back, they have no idea what the guy bought, sold, or was even maybe minutely interested in. Yep. With, with software, I think it's pretty important. And I, I think it would be awesome. Yeah, and you know, I think that that the you know the thought there that detailers they want to do these things, okay? They want to they want to upsell the customer. They want to catch all that, you know, that stuff as the as the customer you know spends the lifetime with them. The catch to it is is they don't have a way to organize that. And I know I when I was operating without software that we were kind of just like I knew all the things that I was missing on, but there was no way to keep up. There was no way to do it. So now that software is there to be able to manage that data, manage that information, and bring it up to you every time we're booking a customer, here's this previous jobs, here's what we've done before, um, and it's proactively looking for jobs in the future for you, um, customers that hadn't been around in a while. So um, I, I agree, you know, and Ryan asked that question to every, um, every guest that we have on our show, but I think that was probably one of the most solid answers that we've heard um, on, on that, so that, that's awesome. So I got a question for you. Um, speaking to the new detailers, we try to, you know, we try to get the information that they want to hear through this podcast. Um, if I'm new to the industry and I don't know how to apply the product, what's the best way for me to get trained on it or get or, or get information um, on System X? So I know, like, okay, I've been set up. Now I'm 
purchasing through you guys. What's my next step? Yeah, so, um, you know, we obviously looking for professional use only, guys. You know, we're going to have some questions that we're going to knock out a generic list of questions. And based on those questions, we're going to understand your skill set, right? Guy in the industry, right, our crystal product, you know, even though we market it as a 7H, it's a true 9H product. We had to distinguish the products in the line, so it's still one of the, the better products out there for a lower end. This is, I think, uh, you know, we when we do set up the bottle, we do have uh, installation cheat sheets. But the great thing is you have access to us. Here's a prime example. Two days ago, I was it was about 10.30 at night, and I had a new install, right? So I answered the phone, and he's literally fighting with a high spot, right? Just fighting with a high spot. I said, listen, man, slow down. I said, how hot is it today? He said, hotter than hell, right? Yeah. I said, well, we're going to reduce spot and immediately wipe off. Because all our products do self-level, so that's a, a, a nice thing about our product. It's a little, one of the ones that are easier to work with. Yep. As you said, it's a single-layer system. So, you know, because any of the, I'm not saying bash anybody, but a lot of times you're not getting a rep on the phone, you're not getting customer support, you're not getting anything. That's right. So we'll walk you through that. But honestly, our product is relatively easy. Just maybe I start you off with like a crystal. But yeah. then obviously we'll progress you through the products yeah. and, and teach you how to start making the more and more and the better coatings, more money with each one. Yeah, and, and just like with any product, you know, it's learning over time. You've got to get in there and get your feet wet. Um, it's funny that you said that. So um, I, I know there's, there's also a SystemX uh, Facebook group that, that we're all in, and, and as professionals, yes, we try to answer questions and help each other out. Um, but so we were on a boat the other day, and, and it was at least 1,000 degrees here, and humidity was 150%. You know, it's just unbelievably hot, and it's a black boat. It's here at my shop. And um, the guys, were, you know, they were just dealing with some streaks. Uh, they couldn't, they couldn't get rid of them. Uh, we're, you know, we do, I mean, we do hundreds of boats a year. So these guys are mm -hmm. absolutely the most professional they could be. And th th no matter what they did, they kept getting the high spots. And so I tell them, uh, I said, "Look, guys, drop the ceramic in a bucket of ice. You know, put the put the bottom, oh, the bottom of ice. I was the just going to recommend that. Yeah. Yes. And, and so they had never done. I, and what's funny is we had never had to do that. And we've been through. You know, we've done a million boats. But we never had that specific scenario. But I was on, I was somewhere and saw in the Facebook group that someone has carrying their ceramic in a bucket of ice, and I'm like, mm -hmm. holy shit, that's a great idea on those hot days because as soon as he hits that hot boat, it's instantly flashing. Yep. And so uh, to cool that ceramic down and extend that flash time out just enough to where you can work it, I thought it was a great tip, and uh, we used it here at the shop, got through the job, man, and, and it worked great. So little things like that. Um, Coming from the reps, um, if they give you that information or your Facebook group, I mean, just just having that information readily available is awesome. That's a great hack, Dustin. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we actually yeah. are, are doing a hack of the week uh, at our podcast. So we'll have to we have another one this week. We'll have to bring that back up later in the you know. I'm sure, you don't uh, want to save that for next week. No. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, listen, I think that's a great hack, and, and I totally forgot to even mention that. You know, um, when. Uh, um, we first started the Facebook group, right? We just wanted to play an event, talk about their issues, talk about their problems, talk about their rewards and their success stories too. But, you know, it's sometimes good to, you know, maybe a guy or a new guy to talk to. Facebook has made it to a point where you post on there and there's, you don't get any backlash. Even if the, you, you talk to the newest guy that might have asked yeah. the most generic question. Oh, get this guy out of here, this guy. No, man, we're going to walk you through it. And then That's you right. know what's funny? Those guys that are asking those questions a year later are the guys answering the okay. questions yeah. for the new. Yeah, and see, that's so important. You know, we have a group for our MVPs, all of our um, our software users, and it's and it's treated the same way. Uh, you know, we want we welcome all those questions. We want to make sure that you know, no no matter how dumb the question is, quote unquote, um, it's gonna get it's gonna get answered professionally, and we're gonna you know we're gonna uh, you know make sure that the information gets out there, and you're not gonna get you know no tolerance for trolls. Right? Yeah, no, you know, it's just uh, we're, we're here to help, man, and be professionals. And System X's Facebook group has always been great. Um, I've jumped in there and helped out a lot, and I think I've asked a question or two. As a matter of fact, I did ask a dumb question one time. Uh, <laughs> I did. So funny thing is, we do you know we do boats, we do cars all the time, and like I had a Tesla come in my shop, 
And I had such a serious brain fart this, you know, that morning. And my guy said, "Hey, uh, he wants to coat the um, the touchscreen." Okay. All right. So nothing there. So I go to the group. I take a picture of it. And say, "Hey guys, maybe dumb question here. Can I coat this touchscreen?" I do, you know, and I tell him, I give him the backstory. I'm like, first of all, I'm not a new detailer, so you know, just hang tight. I said, I'm just having a moment here. They're like, well, yeah, you coat the um, the screens on their boats and the screen, you know, the glass all the time. I'm like, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, so you know, uh, but but we all have those moments, and uh, I think that it's awesome that you could go into that group and and everybody was supportive um, through yeah, my no moment. dirty delete on that. I no, no, it, it was there. awesome. Oh. Um, so we talked about uh, ceramic outside. You guys uh, offer an interior product as well. Uh, what all can uh, can you coat with that uh, interior product? So uh, interior product is actually pretty cool. So I'm, I actually enjoy sneakers. Um, I don't know if yeah. you saw me at SDC. I'm a big sneaker guy. Always have been. Um, so I act in this world, but you know, it keeps those things a little more uh, uh, easy to clean. Sure. Um, I'm getting a little kickback. You mind if I kick off this video and come right back on? Yeah, yeah, we're kind of catching the same thing as well. We didn't know you could hear it. So, yeah, if you want to jump off, we'll let you right back in, and we'll, we'll continue our conversation. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know if he could hear. Um, I didn't know if he could if he could hear that, but we was catching a little bit of that bounce back too. So, and I know how that thing uh, gets to you. So, anyways, we um, but loving the new set. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> this man. is. I mean, it's a lot nicer in here. Um, it, it, at least it's not a thousand degrees like Ryan said. I think he's coming in now. I think I heard the little. There we go. All right, let's check it. Can you? I'm back. So um, I was having a little feedback there. So um, what I was saying about the interior. Uh huh. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah we can. All right. So what I was saying about the interior. The... Yeah. If, yeah. With your final an hour in, if, if if you can, if it's not bothering you. Oh no, no, we're fine. We can get through this. All right. So check it out. So the interior product is you guys do a lot of boats, right? Uh -huh. Canvas tops. Canvas tops are pretty important. Yep. Um, yep. That's a good thing to use it on. Um, guys do use it for the uh, vinyl seats as well. I think there's a multitude of different places that it'll actually work. Um, I'm actually getting a headset right now, guys. Hold okay. on. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. I know, and it drives you crazy. I need to hear feedback through the, through the headsets. Let's see if that's any better. All right, yeah, this is actually great. Can you guys hear me a little better? Uh, we're catching still, still the feedback. feedback but yeah. It's all right. Um, yeah. It's, and it's a pop. Uh, it's like it's funny that you mentioned coat and shoes. We actually had a, a conversation with oh, Chris yeah. from So Fresh, So Clean. clean. Yeah, the, you're the, supposed to do clean, clean. Oh my All bad. Right. Set me up again. Uh, so Chris from So Fresh to So Clean. Clean. All right. He yeah. uh, he's a big <laughs> sneaker guy too. And so uh, we uh, we were talking uh, last week about. Coat coated and, shoes. Yeah, coat and shoes, yeah, man. Shoes. And Dustin and coated his golf bag. You know, yeah. Like, coached their their but, possessions. I think installers and detailers, the really nice part about it is if you coach your shoe, that's a great example when a customer walks in your shop, you pour some water on it and say, imagine this on your seats. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a great live demo to give a customer when they walk in the door. Are a great thing to coat, right? So you can go outside of the market. Like I got a lot of mobile detailers that will close on a car and then also coat the umbrella in the backyard, coat some of the lawn furniture, you know, do some yeah. of the other things that are a little out of the box there. I know when I got I got a little mini poodle at home and when I got that dog and how you know what I did was coat the side of the carpet, you know, the carpets, the couches and things like that. Just let it pool up. Made me feel a little better when I saw the pee walking in the house instead of set yeah. stepping in a wet carpet and be like, Ah, oh, Teddy, I'm gonna get you. I, I swear <laughs> I thought he was gonna say he coated the dog. Like I thought that's where we were headed with that and I'm like, You did not coat the dog. <laughs> no man. Water I don't know. I don't need pee after me. <laughs> That's awesome. God, that's awesome. That's awesome. Look, man, well, uh, appreciate you guys coming on. Appreciate you coming out and, and talking to us and, uh, you know, talking about your product. We absolutely love System X here at the shop. Um, you know, uh, if you're a detailer and you're considering adding ceramic to your arsenal, I think you should absolutely give System X a call. Talk yeah, to them. Um, talk to Andrew. Let him get you set up with a rep. Uh, these guys are going to take care of you. You always have taken care of us. So, um, and, yeah, and most definitely. For itself. And something I want to even throw out there, too, yeah, just because you guys invited me out. If anybody is a new detailer and reaches out and can, you know, 
let's let's make up a word system x max right if you say hey system x max i was on the deep initial order to get your rocket rolling Oh, awesome. right, man, that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll drop that in the comments, too, so we uh, make sure that mm -hmm. if they see it, they can grab it. Uh, that's awesome. Hey, man, appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, Todd, for coming out, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, it was good meeting you. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, we're always going to be bumped, too. Yeah, and, dude, that profile picture from STC is worth a million dollars. Ah, that's awesome, Thanks, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you, Todd. Thank All you, buddy. All right, buddy. boys. Have a great day. Bye. You, too. Thanks, man. All right, so uh, we have a demo set up actually in our new set, and we wanted to show we wanted to show you guys um, the detailers out there just how System X performs. Now we always had this uh, piece of fiberglass, piece of gel coat boat that we have you know polished out one side. It's heavily oxidized, and we show the performance how System X does. Now we use this when we go to trade shows, and it shows the performance of the uh, System X. And we wanted to show you guys just how well it worked. Now, this thing's been coated for a couple of years. Um, obviously, it's not in the, you know, it's not in the bad conditions like, you know, boats are all the time. But we leave it out in the sun a lot. It's, you know, it's not just like this well-maintained piece of gel coat. But you can see where we polished, we sanded and polished out one side of it, had it coated, and just how the water really runs off. And then the side where it's oxidized, how you see how the water's dragging, Ryan? Yeah. That's, that's the biggest benefit is how easy it is to clean so you can see that side the right side where the water's dragging out you can imagine anything just sticking to that yeah definitely. And, and so the the part where the water's just jumping off of it nothing's going to stick to that side and that's some of the easy you know the benefits of ceramic coating obviously the protection against the sun um but but the ease of clean it almost know. looks like it's scared of the water it's hydrophobic. Oh, that's so cool, man. <laughs> that water's just jumping off there. So, listen, guys, wanted to show you that and uh, and, and just show you how well it works. That's also a cool little trick um, in your sales game uh, as a detailer. If you can add something like that to show the customers how the product works. I mean, we literally uh, got this boat out of a junkyard, cut it out of a piece of boat, polished it up. We threw it, you know, threw a water pump on there. And it just shows our customers, you know, how the product works. Because people are, are look and feel kind of people. And, yep. you know, you can tell them all day long. But if they can touch it and, and you know, feel how the product, you know, uh, sits on there and how slick it is, it's an easier sell. So um, something there you may want to, you know, keep in mind. Well, man, um, I know we're about to get out of here. But first off, let's let's talk about that hack that I uh, kind of okay, came so, up yeah, with we, earlier. Okay, so yeah, we've mentioned it a few times, <laughs> and so uh, so we want to we want to bring this to you. We just think it's a cool um, new element to add to our show. We want to bring in a hack we hadn't named. We haven't given it a name yet, but we know how much Ryan loves magic. If you don't know, Ryan's a, magic a man. He, yeah, he's a magic man. So we're gonna for this week only. We're gonna name it. Ryan's Magical Hack of the Week. That's right, guys. Magical <laughs> Hack of the Week. And so I just uh, was came up with this in a dream, matter of fact. I, yeah. Uh, to, I, I just dreamt that if you take a piece of white cardboard, right? No, you, not cardboard. I mean, I'm sorry, poster board. Bad dreams. It's kind of, yeah, it's yeah. a different dream. All right, yeah. I'll tell you a cardboard dream <laughs> later. All right, so a white piece of poster board. Yeah. You can actually see the high spots on the vehicle by using so that. So you, you dreamt this, huh? I, dream, I mean, I just came up with it in a dream. I don't believe that. Ryan did not dream that. Well, where did you That get? hack actually came from Miss Jennifer Turcott when she came out here. Oh, I talk. definitely saw it in a dream then. Yeah. Was, she taught me. <laughs> Wait, she are you sure it's not uh, Chris? No. Are you sure it wasn't Chris? Chris West. Anyways, no. Uh, Avens. Did you just I say West? Yes. <laughs> Different. Anyway, so the hack, the hack came from Jennifer Turcott. She's <laughs> awesome, but she showed us that in bad lighting or, you know, how sometimes you used to roll the car out and do a sun check on it. If the sun's not out, if it's overcast or raining like it is today here in our shop, yep. then you're kind of stuck. Well, if you take a piece of white poster board and you walk around the car and look into the reflection, it will show you, no matter how bad the lighting is, the high spots in the car. And it's one of the most awesome hacks that I've ever learned. We use it here all the time on boats, on automotive, any kind of, you know, any kind of ceramic job. Right. We're using the white poster board and it's just like a highlighter when you're talking about looking for hot spots in a car. So hack of the week goes out to Jennifer Turcott. She won a date with Ryan. Yep. That's what you win for hack of the week. Ooh. And, uh, 
and that's it. So, listen, guys, awesome show, awesome having tied on with System oh, X. Man, this you know, this, great. I, I can't wait to keep talking about products because it's what it's it's important to detailers. That's These right. guys can gain something out of this thing, and that's what we're trying to do here is give you something quality. You know, we could also do a hack of the week and a product of the week. What's Greg Masterson doing next week? We can absolutely <laughs> get that guy on and do both. Wait, or at the same or, time. Yeah. You know, so the hack could be the person. It could be a person. Could be the person. So, guys, if you know a hack of the Please. week, uh, or if you know a hack. A good hack, whether it be a person or, or a real hack, shoot it over to us in Messenger or drop us a comment. We'd love to do that. We'd love to highlight the hack. Um, we have a list of them, but we'd love to add to that list and keep bringing y'all some really quality hacks. I promise I won't steal your hacks. Yeah, so Sorry, Jennifer. Going to get out of here. It's been a great show. Love talking to Todd. He's an awesome guy. Um, love talking and to you, Dustin. Love talking to you, Ryan, in our new set. It's nice and air-conditioned, nice and cool up here. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next week. Peace. Go, man.